Hello everybody and welcome to another inbox. I guess it's not really an inbox, it's a build review. Today we are going to be building the Warhammer Age of Sigmar Pus Goyle Blightlords. I actually really fell in love with these figures a few weeks ago and I decided to get them. Um, I think they just look really cool, like there's a lot of opportunity on them for, for skin tones, for just, just doing metallics or NNM, just, just in a beat up kind of version, so I, I thought they looked really cool, so I ended up picking them up. Anyhow, what I ended up doing here is removing all the parts off of the sprues, cleaning them up, and now we're ready to assemble. As always, I will be using the Tamiya Extra Thin Cement for assembly. Uh, so let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do is just show you quickly show you the instruction manual so that we don't have to go through it later. Uh, generic GW stuff on here. And those of you wondering what I used to uh, clean my plastic models with is just uh, just a regular knife here with with a comfortable handle. This is a Fiskars knife, really comfortable handle um, to clean off my plastic. I don't file plastic. I just uh, scrape it. Anyhow, let's go through the instructions. So the first thing that they have you assemble is the um, uh, the creatures, whatever they're called. And there's two of these, so this is one, and this is the second. Now I do apologize if I do start scrambling through my box for parts a little more than, or longer than I should. Uh, that's only because everything's bunched up, so... Um, oh, this also, this kit gives you the option to do the Lord of, the Lord of Afflictions as one of the figures. I am foregoing that option, I just don't like the way he looks. I think he's got too much going on over here, a little too busy, so I'm not going to assemble the Lord of Affliction. We're both we're going to do the uh, Puskoil Blight Lords on both of them. I'm kind of going to try and follow the instructions as much as possible. Obviously there's a couple of head options that you get here, but other than that, it's kind of... Kind of straightforward. A couple of banner options on here, but other than that, it's kind of straightforward as to um, as to how these guys end up looking. So we're, for for the most part, we're going to follow the uh, the instructions in the back. They give you the uh, stats on here, which mean absolutely nothing to me. So I'm not even going to bother. Anyhow, let's get started here. As I said, all the parts are cleaned already. So we're basically just putting everything together. So starting with one of the bodies here. Which, let me see if I grab the first, the right ones the first time around. Probably not. No. So, so that's, uh, that's one of the, uh, one of the, I guess issues that I, I can I can come across when I'm when I'm paint or when I'm uh, assembling doing these assembly videos is I kind of is I pre-clean everything take everything off uh, off the screws and I pre-clean everything and then just kind of throw it all back into the box so it takes me takes me a little bit longer to find all the right parts but other than that, actually, I, I hate cleaning plastic, so I, I'm uh, more than happy to get that out of the way early on. It's, uh, to me, extra thin cement. I love this stuff. I know Games Workshop makes uh, plastic glue. I mean, all plastic glue is basically the same. Um, the reason I use extra thin from Tamiya is um, I started using it for for my models, for my modeling, and then I just kind of brought it back, or brought it over to, uh, to plastic figures as well. I'm not sure if Chi Games Workshop stuff is any good. I'm sure it's completely overpriced for what it is. Plastic glue is plastic glue. So that's why I just stick with Tamiya. Um, I also like the, uh, like the little brush applicator that it comes with. And I've never had any issues with Tamiya stuff. As far as their glue goes, at least. Their glue and their paints are pretty decent, too. So, yeah. Alright, so we got our first little little blight drone here, and this is the... This is the second of the two, so I'm going to put him aside for the time being. And of course, why would I build something in order? Yeah, this is this is the one that the, uh, the instructions have you build first, so... Might as well put them both together at the same time. 
But uh, yeah, I fell in love with these uh, with these models. I don't know. I've been I've been Jones in to do some Nurgle stuff for a while now, and I do have the um, all the Plague Marine models from the the starter set, the 40k starter set, or what used to be the starter set at least. I don't know if it is the same anymore. Um, I do have those, which I haven't touched yet, but I do have those assembled somewhere, so as you might end up seeing videos on those eventually, too, because, yeah, I've been jon jonesing for some Nurgle for some reason. I don't know why, but these, I just love the look of these, so I ended up picking these up. Alright, next up is we have a choice here of... of what we're using for the... Uh, tusk or whatever the hell you want to call it or horn. Uh, I think I'm going to go with part number 30. Uh, that seems to me at least it looks like the better choice. The other one looks a little bit more overly detailed for my liking at least. And i got to find piece number 2 as well which looks to be it's, I don't know, it's mouthpiece it's mouth section I guess. Again, I apologize for the uh, for the noise, but this is me sifting through the parts that I have in my box here, so I can find the right one to use. And this is it. So, all right, let's put our other guy aside. And how do we fit this guy in here? Like this? Yep, just like this. And you have the you do have a little tiny bit of of move in here, but not much. So, it's really. Uh, Really, not much of a difference that these these can make pose-wise. That's okay. I'm, uh, I knew coming into this that it wasn't really very customizable or posable. Or posable. I, I pretty much got it just because it looked awesome. I love the way these look. Whoa. The other thing, assembling in these gloves. Um, it's hard for me to uh, to grip onto the slippery plastic, but that's okay. So let's, there we go, let's get that in there. That's pretty cool looking. Alright, that's that. And this is the, uh, the horn on here. Alright, next up is the, the base section that goes on here, so it's going to be this. Now the one thing I knew uh, doing it the way I always do it is matching up the the tendrils and here would be a pain just because they all look fairly similar so the fact that these two are attached to to the base portion makes it a little bit easier but uh, this is where the this is where the pain in the butt's gonna come in is actually trying to find the right right little pieces here assuming this one's for the other side, so and I'm hoping I picked the right ones out. What I should have done is kind of keep kept these separate when I was uh, separating it out, but I figure figure one will fit the other just to, ooh, and this is coming apart. Get some more glue in there. But yeah, I figured ultimately that one would fit the other, so I wasn't too worried about it. Hopefully that's the case. So far, so good. So here we're going with L7, which looks like to be this. I would hope. Uh, let's see if it fits. Just kind of going to move it around in there. There we go. Just fit. Move it around in there until it locks in, and then just kind of by eye make sure it fits, which this one does seem to. So, unless again, I'm assuming that they're all interchangeable from one plague drone to plague drones. That's what, that's what these are called, isn't it? Um, from one to the other, I'm assuming they're all interchangeable, so I might be wrong, but. And other than that, it's just kind of grabbing 
what looks like the one that I'm looking for and I'm putting it in there. here and um, from my previous assembly review videos at least you guys said you enjoyed me you know not speeding this up but kind of going going through the motions and some of you guys even chose to this is not the right one and some of you guys chose to uh, dry fit in other words some of you guys actually chose to uh, build along and, and actually enjoyed watching these full length while I babble through them type deal, but I have also considered in the past to do these, you know, on, um, on time lapse. Uh, just so it doesn't take as long, so let me know what you guys think. If you want me to continue doing these in this format where, where I babble throughout the whole live build and you can kind of watch along or build along even, then I will continue doing them this way. Otherwise, I will cut them down to something a little bit more manageable. Uh, does this one fit in here? Can't tell whether this fits or not. Doesn't really, doesn't really show me clearly. So I'm gonna have to pull this out of here. It does it looks like it would fit, but it kind of, kind of intersects here. So I don't feel comfortable about that fitting again. This would be a lot easier if I didn't pull everything off the sprue and uh, and screw myself that way. But I don't like making things easy for myself apparently. So we're just gonna keep going until we find the right one. About this one. Now this one's actually this one's a little worse, so you know what? Probably is this one. Yeah, I'm okay with this being it. And that's assuming that we get the uh, the right fit on the other one afterwards, but I'm okay with these being what they are right now. And if not, we'll pull it apart. The The plastic cement does take a few minutes to dry. So it gives us at least a little bit of time to screw with it, you know. But um, what I am going to do is, the next step is put the wings on. What I'm going to do is put this on the base. I'm not, I'm not screwing with it as much. Let that dry. Start drying. And I'm going to put some more glue around the edge on the base here. So that's the one thing that I don't like about the um, beveled edges, or beveled edges, about the beveled uh, surface on the Games Workshop bases. It's using plastic glue, so plastic glue basically welds one portion to the other, but the fact that this isn't a completely smooth area makes it harder or, or takes longer for the glue to actually stick to it, and I end up using a lot more glue than I normally would. Um, I mean, that said, I can always just, like, file this down or whatever. I mean, it's not a huge deal. But, uh, yeah. So now I'm gonna try and kind of match the wings up best I can. So this one only has three... Yeah. I don't know, I can't tell whether that's it or not. I think so. Again, don't uh don't do it my way, because it really makes it harder on yourself than, than it really should be. So yeah, definitely don't do it my way. Do it the easy way and follow the instructions and don't pre-cut everything like I'm doing, like I did. 
because I really did make this harder on myself than it should have been. There we go. I think it's these two. Yeah, it is. Okay. I've been finger screwing this entire portion. I'm hoping nothing's come off of here. No, it hasn't. All right. This swing has a like a cauldron or something back here. I mean, some of some of these details don't get me wrong. I I love these models here, these two. But a lot of it, it just seems a little unnecessary. Like why? Why a cauldron, boiling cauldron on the back of something that's that's a flying thing and that's I mean that's just weird. So yeah, sometimes like Games Workshop just over the de details, the crap out of their stuff. Sometimes they really do. Like I just find that completely unnecessary. That cauldron there. And this is not me complaining about it. This is actually part of the review. <laughs> um, it's a, so far everything's coming together fine, minus my, minus my own doing, which seems to be the case quite often. So I'm just trying to make sure, there we go, this is the right one. So far, so good. I mean, as I said, it's coming together nicely. I'm hoping there won't be too many mold lines or anything, or mold lines, uh, too many seams to to fill in. Uh, the good thing with the uh, with the plastic cement is, again, it melts the uh, two plastic pieces together. It welds it together. So while the glue is setting, you can kind of press it press it together as hard as you want and kind of weld it together and then the least you have to do is kind of file it down sometimes or uh, or work it down so it makes it easier that way you don't have to fill it with filler or anything you know but here's the first one done actually looks really cool I do like it I mean they're not like overly huge so they won't be super hard to paint either it won't take super long to paint rather so now let's start on the second one i to find its mouth again. I guess another mouth rather. Which of this one's supposed to be smaller? And I do have to use the the, the horn I didn't like on this one because I, I thought I thought I could get away without using it because it's again it just looks a little ridiculous to me, but no I have to use it on one or the other unfortunately, so so let me keep looking up, I found the mouth. And the other thing I want to put on there right away is the other half of the bell. So that I can attach it to the base. It's just going to make it a lot easier to handle when it's attached to the base. So that's actually the first thing we're going to do. So let's do that. Next time I'm going to do this, next uh, build review that we do, I'm going to do this without my gloves because this is just a little too slippery. I'm going to work with my lighting so that it doesn't throw off the color balance too much, but I'll do it with my, without my gloves. I think the black coach I did without my gloves and we were okay. <coughs> Excuse me. But yeah, let me know what you guys think about this format, or, or keep letting me know, I guess, what you think of this format, whether I should keep going, or whether it's too long, whether you'd rather me babble less, and just do a, um, do a, uh, time lapse. But, um, I certainly plan on doing more of these on the, basically on most kits that I buy. Uh, just because why not? I mean, I'm already doing it, so I might as well put a quick review on there. 
Um, these kits are either all uh, all because they just look cool or um, I'm painting it for somebody in other words. I mean this I just bought because it looked cool. So uh, it's $64.99 I believe uh, US dollars. I did buy it at my local hobby shop. I've actually got into the habit lately of buying more at my local hobby shops than online at a discount. Um, not because not because I necessarily love spending money, but you know what, I figured let me try and support some of my local stores a little bit more. Okay, this mouth actually, I hampered myself by attaching this to the base first before I put the mouth in there. Because that is going to be a pain in the butt to get in there. But uh, yeah, so I've been buying more more of my kits at a at the local store and just to kind of support them granted I, I know I can get them a lot cheaper online um, but I don't buy that much it's not like you know I play entire armies or anything it's not like I'm buying entire armies at once I mean the few that I do buy that I can find in my local stores I mean obviously it's mainly games workshop and like privateer press and stuff so a lot of what I paint I actually have to go out and um, and get online but the stuff that I can find locally I've started doing that just for the uh, just to support the local stores. All right, so let's do the the uh, whatever you call them tender tendrils or or arms or whatever you want to call them on this side. Which, if we did everything right on the other side, it should be these three. If we did everything right on the other figure, rather, it should be these three. So first one. So far, so good. Alright, now the second one, I should probably dry fit just to make sure. Yep. Alright, listen, if I got this... I got this right, doing it blindly, then I'll be pretty happy. So I was actually expecting this to be a major screw up and having and I'd have to go back and like take the ones off of the other one. But so far so good. Let's see if the third one fits. Damn right it does. Alright. Alright, I'm good with that. And I'm sure we could have maybe replaced these two because I think yeah, so like, I think the longer one here, which I ended up putting on the back, should actually be in the middle. But you know what, that's okay. This brings a little bit more more uh, variety to it, so I'm okay with that. It doesn't look horrible, and, and I'm okay with being off a little. So right, now let's do the other side, which is... One, two, three, but they also have you put on a a bell thing on here first, so let me do that so I don't knock it off while putting on the tendrils. If I can find it, here it is. And that goes on here. Alright, that's that. Easy enough with the first one here because it's the smallest one. Alright, now I'm assuming the second one is the longest one. Seems to fit. And this is also me being too lazy to turn to the next page to make sure that the second one is the longest one. It seems to fit okay, so I'm just going to go with it. And the third one is the middle one. If it fits, then we're good. Certainly don't want it to fit like that. Uh-oh. Here. 
No, that's not it. It's certainly not it. So let's take this one out. Ah. So the long one is the third one, and the mid one is, yeah, okay. That makes sense. Again, perils of not reading the instructions properly. Alright, now let's do the side wings. Now there's no real rhyme or reason for me which one I'm attaching to the left or to the right other than seeing how many other than seeing how many of the uh, the thorns or bumps or horns or whatever you want to call it, they count on the wings because that kind of tells me which side I'm using on what. Let's see, that's not it. This is it. So that's this side. I'm going to put the bottom one in first because it just seems like the easier way to do it. Oh, and I just kind of twist them around in there until they they seem to have fit okay. Nope. Really, am I putting the wrong one in here? Kind of feels like it, but... Are we okay in here? No, we're okay. We are good. Hopefully, unless the other side doesn't fit, and then we know we're not good, but so far we're good. Uh, this one fits okay. Oops, sorry for shaking the camera. And this one, also okay. All right. Also okay as it falls out, as it pops out, it didn't even fall out, it popped out, but we're okay. It looked good. Alright. Yeah, I think we're good. I'm gonna make sure this dries a little higher up. Alright, what's next? Next is the actual riders. So we're gonna pass pass over the um, Lord of Afflictions. Here's the uh, here's the true two drones. Before I start adding the riders to them. And now let's get going on putting the bodies together. And this might actually suck. Because I truly did not separate any of this out, I just kind of left it all on top of each other. So this might actually be harder than I thought it would be, but but you guys know how you work. I like to struggle. So. All right. So here's the um, one of the bodies with a tongue that's going to be sticking out of it, and the back is is that this? Nope. Yeah, I'm literally just going by, like, comparing by eye now. It's not this. It's not this. Oh, uh, it's this one. And it's this one. So, first thing that we're putting in there is the tongue that's sticking out. Which way is it sticking out? Looks like it should be going this way, but... Hmm... And the instructions don't really... Don't really illustrate that too well. So in the instructions, it's supposed to be sticking out like this, but that... Doesn't really make this sit in here that well. That said, it might be the right way, so let's add some glue in here. And now, let's 
try and close this up and see if it closes up. If it closes up, then we did it right. If it doesn't close up, then we're shit out of luck. How the hell is that supposed to close up? Oh, it's here. Okay, so this tongue was definitely... Ah, oh, there we go. Now it snapped into place. Okay. So hopefully you guys saw what I did there, just to kind of snap it into place like that. all together so it sets properly. I mean I definitely like the I like the detail. One of the things that sold me on these guys was the actual detail on the um, on the riders. I really like the way they looked. So you get two choices of heads on this one. It's either this one Either this one or if I can find it. Or this one. And I actually don't like the way this one looks. I don't know, I think it looks weird, like the eyes and like the mouth and I think it looks weird. I like the way like I like how much more pronounced the horns are and stuff, but I don't like the way that one looks. So we're gonna end up using the simpler one on here. Much more, much more controlled. I guess. Again, it's just. I guess for me, it's just the over detailing that Games Workshop insists on, like putting detail into every single little corner of their figures. While sometimes simpler is better, in my opinion, at least. And obviously, we're all entitled to our own opinion, so I won't argue that point. But in my opinion, there's just stuff that they they overdo for no reason. Uh, now what am I putting on here? I'm putting on here this scythe that he's holding. So that's an easy attachment here. Hopefully. Yep. And But now I have to grab one more thing, his left arm. Which I was actually hoping that I'd have an alternative to this. don't think I do. Or do I? Hold on a second. I might have an alternative to this and I'm hoping I do. I just gotta flip through the book a little bit more because I really don't like the arm with the um with the, uh, whatchamacallits, with this, with the tentacles. So, see, these are, oh, you guys can't see that. These are my other two options. And you know what? I think that's what we're going to end up going with. certainly like my other two options more. So I do like his belly here, but I like the other ones more. So hold on, let me put this aside. See if I can get away with the other two options, because I do like those better. Let's see, let me grab this and this, right? Yep. Is this right? Yeah, this and this. I do like the armor. I think it gives me a little bit, it's going to give me a little bit more variety to, to screw around with, uh, with really beating up some non-metallic, so I tried doing that with my black coach, with what I thought was mixed results, so I obviously need a little bit more practice, a lot more practice, realistically. So, so this is going to give me a great opportunity to get that practice. Now what we're going to do is we're actually going to assemble all the all the options here 
for these uh, for these riders for their bodies, and then just kind of pick the one we like best, or well, really the one I like best, since so you guys can't really uh, tell me what to do right away, since this video won't go. This isn't live, so I started a uh, Twitch streaming last couple of weeks. Been doing a couple of days, a couple of days a week, um, just for. Just for the shits and giggles of it, really. And this is the wrong body for this head, so let me put the other body together. So anyways, I started Twitch streaming, so the reason if I catch myself, like, asking you guys for opinions on the videos and stuff, I apologize, but that's because I'm used to the, um, used to the Twitch stream now, to where I actually get live feedback, uh, back, so I do apologize if I catch myself during the video asking for opinions when, when you guys, well, can't give it. But I would absolutely appreciate your feedback in the comments, just to see what you guys think, as far as my choices of what I ended up using on this. I'm just throwing myself off all over the place, aren't I? Okay, so this and this go together. There we go. I just confused the crap out of myself there for a second. Alright. So, I do like this one. And this one is the one that's holding the scythe over his shoulder, which is absolutely what I'm going for. Because I think that looks badass. So let me throw the head on here. Yeah, it took me a second to like match. That's that's what I'm saying. Like the the problems of of taking everything apart or off the sprue and then putting it together as you go. It kind of sucks, but it's the quickest way of me to putting these videos together. Um, just because I've had to clean all of this as I'm putting it together would definitely delay delay the filming at least because what takes me half an hour to film now or however the video however long the video is would take me a few days in between having to clean everything and, and so on and so forth so it's easier for me to do it this way This is supposed to go on here, but do I have the right arm? Because it doesn't really seem like... I guess I do, huh? This doesn't seem right. Let's see. It's supposed to be like... Yeah, I guess that's right. Alright. That's his arm. We're gonna go with this head on here. I think that looks badass. And we're gonna go with the scythe. Resting across his shoulders like this, because I think that looks really badass. That's just like, come at me, bruh. Do something. That actually looks really cool. This is the, um... This is the pose and the helmet that actually made me decide to pick these guys up, is this right here, because I think that looks just completely badass. The way the scythe, he's just kind of chilling. And just like, who's next? Who is next? And the other one, the other pose that made me pick this up, is going to be this next one here. is this one here because he's got all the fungus and stuff growing on him already so that's really cool too I actually thought that'd be some great opportunity to try weathering non-metallic metals really nicely but like he's got the mushrooms growing on here already and like all the um all the uh rust and, and stuff in here already so I actually thought that was really cool and we've got two options of heads so we've got either this one which, um, not completely against, but it's kind of meh. And then we've got, where's the other one? The hell is the other one? 
Oh, there it is. And we've got this one, which I think is really cool. And this one gets a, uh, a back piece, which actually makes it hooded and flowing and stuff, so that's really cool. So we're going with that one. that and let's glue this on here and I know we have weapon options with this guy too I think maybe I don't know or no he's the one that's just holding the um, uh, the scythe with both of his hands which I'm fine with yeah Ooh. and that's just me not giving the glue enough time to dry So this is the other scythe, and again, it's got the, the mushrooms growing on it, it's, it's really cool. Alright, where are the... Oh, this way. So this just slots in here, yeah, easily enough. be afraid to like I say I don't want to say the word drown the part that you're gluing in, in the plastic cement but don't be afraid to like use you know quite a bit of it on here because it won't really don't drown it because it, it does melt plastic so don't like drown it in the stuff but you saw what I put on there and and it works just fine so so that's done. Now we gotta work on the legs. And I think we only got... How many sets of legs do we got? Yeah, we only get two sets of legs, so there's only... So technically we can only screw up twice. But I think these that have the chain mail on them go together, yeah. Which drone do they go? I don't think it makes a difference. So let those bodies dry. It's a little weird that they have you attach the legs to the drones before you attach them to the body, but hey, whatever works for me. Yeah, right. that looks about right. That's one pair. And these, just keep in mind, these look like they're the uh, they're the ones that go for the really rusty guy. But let's see what the other ones look like. Just as rusty, so it makes no difference. Just as many holes in them. actually um this went together very easily so that's one thing as much as, as much as I hate praising games workshop I I really love how easily most of their kits go together I mean that that's that's one thing that I really do enjoy about GW is how easily all their stuff goes together so I'm gonna put the parts that we're left with on the side for the time being now let's see this guy go here and this guy go here. Does that work? Yeah, that works. Yeah, those look awesome. See how easily that went together? I mean, we just literally plumped it on there. And the fit's perfect, so... I will never, ever, ever say anything bad about GW Kit Engineering, because it is... That is one thing that they are the best at, is engineering their kits for ease of assembly. There's other stuff that I can say bad stuff about them, but you know what? No, we're going to keep this positive, because I'm really happy with these two guys so far. Um, there are some little details we can add to these. Uh, banners. They both can have banners. And, you know what? Let's do it. So here's the two poles. Now we have two opt three options for banners. So we have... 
we have this with a little little nurgling that's supposed to be hanging off of it so here he is this with the nurgling dangling off of it so we're absolutely going with that because we'd be silly not to because that's just that just adds an immense amount of character to the piece. That's another thing I like Nurgle. It's just they're so as badass as they are. They're also so comedic at the same time. It's just uh, I love Nurgle for that reason. If you think the fact that my gloves, uh, the glue might actually be trying to glue my gloves too, so I'm not sure, but. Alright, so let's put this on here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So yeah, we're certainly going on this guy. Hanging off. And the other two are either the oh, the Nurgle Sigil or this guy. Um, actually, oh, I'm actually going to go with the Nurgle Sigil. Um, not because I have anything against the dead guy. Oh, did I miss a piece of flash? See, I missed a, a piece of flash on here. Not because I have anything against the uh, dead guy. Only because the uh, banner uh, on the other and the other piece already has the uh, Nurgle sigil on it as well, so I kind of want to keep them tied together and have them both have a Nurgle thing on it. Um, on the other, the other side of that, you can argue, well, why don't you mix it up and do one with the banner and the other one with the deck? I could have done that yet, just for more variety, absolutely, but I am a slave of conformity, so we will do... We'll do the conforming part. So, which one goes on what? So here's my my looking at it. This guy's more... This guy's more like... Metallic and, and more badass, so he's gonna get this one. This guy has more cloth on him, so he's going to get this one. That's the way I'm justifying it, at least. Like it or not. My justification for it. So, and we're actually we're almost done. We're not done quite yet because then there's a lot of details that we can add to the base as well, which is really cool. There's a bunch of little nerglings and such. So it's just yeah, these are these are really great kits. Uh, well worth the sixty bucks. I think granted they're not the cheapest, and I, I don't play. So again, I have no freaking clue whether they're any good in the game or not. But just aesthetically, I think they're well worth the 60 bucks, and you get two of them. Uh, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do one, one on YouTube or one for YouTube, and one I'm gonna paint up on Twitch. So uh, those of you guys that watch me on Twitch, thank you. Those of you that don't, I still haven't actually come up with. I'm gonna press this, and I still haven't come up with an actual stream schedule just because I'm, I'm still kind of all over the place, so I haven't really made a commitment to where I stream, but if any of you guys on YouTube want to catch me on stream, there's a good chance I'm streaming during the weekends. But, uh, but yeah, it's, it's pretty much all I can commit to at this point. Alright, so we got these two guys like this, and we've got this little twirly thing that is supposed to somehow go on one of these things it does, but does it go on this one or on that one? Because it doesn't really have anywhere to attach to, does it? No. Uh, I guess it goes on this one. What the hell does it attach to, though? supposed to attach to the tentacle if the guy had the tentacle gotcha so we're not gonna put that on all right let's move on to the finishing touches on the bases 
see, let's see. Alright, this supposedly has a Nurgling that can, can be attached on here somewhere. Where is he supposed to be? I think this is the wrong Nurgling, actually. Yeah. So this one. And supposedly... Should go on here somehow. And yeah, it does. Holy shit. Again, Games Workshop Engineering, fantastic. Other stuff I can complain about, but... Fit and Engineering, fantastic. So, I mean, look how easily that goes. Look how easily that attaches. I mean, just the ease of assembly on this is, is incredible in itself. And then we have uh, this Nurgling on the, on the little mini plague drone, and we have this guy. And make sure we don't have any more details floating around here, because you are left over with a few little uh, bits and pieces, but we don't have any other ones left over. So, put that Nurgling on there. We'll put this guy on here as well. Uh, so the reason I'm putting two Nurglings on this guy instead of this guy is this banner here is much more detailed, and he's already got the Nurgling hanging off of it. So I figured I'd put more Nurglings on this guy to kind of offset that. So each of them is going to end up with two Nurglings. This one has this one, and this one's going to get the guy... Whoa. The guy on the back here. Just chilling. Let's do a quick once over and then there's going to be, oh, actually just to show you guys what we're left with for uh, bits, uh, two bodies, and, and just a couple of uh, odds and sods here. So, yeah, left over with a few bits, let's do a one over, take a look at the uh, connecting points and all of this, and then there will be pictures at the end as well. So yeah, this is my favorite by far. I mean, look how awesome this looks. This guy just looks badass. Um, as far as the connecting points, let's go in here real quick. See if there's anything, especially on the drone. See if there's any major filling. Uh, it doesn't look like it. I mean, this is down here is where the... Uh, or the glue one in, so I might just take a uh, take a quick scraper to this and scrape it down a little bit. In the back here, it looks like we might need to fill this. Uh, moving up, I think I'll be okay without filling here. I can either fill it uh, during painting or not worry. So so far so good as far as the guy itself. I think we'll also be okay on here. Yeah, I think we'll definitely be okay up here. And there's already cat hair on here, isn't there? And just take a look at this detail. I mean, it's, it looks awesome. I'm really, really happy with these. Uh, they came out quite nice. So they assembled quite nicely, actually. Very nicely. Very easily, very nicely. Now take a look at this badass. So yeah, I, I'm extremely happy with these two. I'm extremely happy with this purchase. Again, there's not much filling. That it looks like I'm going to need to do. And yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with this purchase. Extremely happy with it. Uh, yeah, it's 64 bucks, so it's a little bit on the expensive side. Uh, it was certainly more than, than I would like to have paid for these guys. But uh, you can again, you can get them cheaper online, a little bit cheaper at least. But it's it's well worth these two. I mean, they're sizable. And they look awesome. I mean, they build up to look really awesome. Anyhow, I'm close to an hour already, which I wasn't expecting to be. But um, 
Uh, for the next videos in this series, I'm going to paint up one of these for YouTube and one of these on stream. I'm not sure which one's going to be which. Uh, other than that, let me know what you guys thought. If you like my babbling, I'll keep going this way. If not, I'll do um, I'll do them as time lapses instead. Uh, comment, like, follow, obviously all the rest. Thank you guys for watching, and until next time.